What is up? I'm Alana Turtle, and today we're going to go over some new cards that just got announced for the upcoming set, Cosmic Eclipse. Where do they come up with these names? Um, so, this is very interesting. So, of course, as always, I got this information from PokePage.com from a post from Water Pokemon Master. And the thing I found very interesting is that this is from the Alter Genesis set in Japanese, and like, I feel like this is getting spoiled for English before Japanese, which I find very interesting. Um, unless we just, maybe I just missed it, but I kind of doubt that. But uh, all right, let's take a look at the new card. So there's two tag teams that were announced. And the first one is the uh, the baby Pokemon, triple tag team of baby Pokemon. Ah, how intimidating can this be? We got Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff. Um, so they do only come with 240 HP, which I guess makes sense. They are baby Pokemon, uh, but I do think that will hurt it uh, significantly and its attacks don't really make up for it and just because they're baby Pokemon they still count as three prize cards. Uh, so let's take a look. 240 HP. The art is cute but doesn't do a whole lot for me. And then we got Rolling Panic for two fairies and a colorless energy that does 120 and essentially flip coins until you get tails. This deck does 30 damage for each heads. Um, yeah, that's not too great. Like when you think about it, all right, well, you might just do, you know, the chance of you going over 200 is very low unless you kind of have some way to manipulate it, which I think even the trainer that does, I don't think it was for all rolls. I think it was just your next one. So no good re way to re really manipulate. There was a Victinia way back, but I'm pretty sure that will be long gone by then. Uh, so yeah, it's attack and, you know, 120 to 150 if you're lucky 180 damage for three energy is not really very good um i believe you know you could use guard or sylveon as a ramp up to get there really quickly but you know then you that's probably not worth it and then this next attack is oh borderline silly um supreme puff gx uh so for two fairy take another turn after this one so why would we do that? I guess you can, that is kind of like a energy accelerator. Uh, I guess it is technically card draw and it is technically another supporter. Uh, but for your GX attack, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Um, I don't know, you can switch again. I don't think that really buys you anything. So it's kind of interesting and then, but then it gets really silly. If you have an additional 14 fairy energy attached to it, your opponent shuffles all their bench Pokemon and all cards attached them into their deck. Um, 14, so that's a total of 16 fairy energy. Um, good luck ramping that. I like, I feel like if, if it was like, you have 14 extra energy, you win the game, that would not, still would not have been too crazy, or, uh, assuming there's no way to completely break that, but, um, I, I'm trying to think, like, alright, if you remove all my bench, but you don't do anything, to, oh no, you still take another turn, so... I don't know. I think it's kind of silly, but sure, maybe that could make that work. <laughs> so, really interesting one. Um, I feel like this is almost kind of like a not a joke card, but like not a serious one. It's like, oh, look, the, the baby Pokemon. And uh, so, let's go to the next one. We got the some big hitters. We got Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia all in one. One tag team. They are Dragon type. Coming in at 280 HP, which is a very nice number. Uh, yeah, that that 10 health from 270. I do, do think makes a big difference between um, Dragonite GX, the the other one, the um, the one with N that does 90 X. So you'll have to discard that whole extra energy to do 360 to take out the 280 Pokemon, unless they have other damage buffers. Um, but this one's kind of weird. The NGs it does use multiple kinds of energy, and let's just take a look. 280 HP, uh, 150 damage. Ult ultimate Ray for a Water, Metal, and Colorless, and does 150 damage. Search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So it's a super accelerator. Um, do 150. It feels very similar to the Pico Realm. Uh, this one does have more energy, more HP. Weird energy costs. Um, metal water. Uh, I can't think of any accelerators off the top of my head, but uh, you know he himself is the best accelerator. And I don't know. I, I feel like that doesn't make it good enough. But the Alter Creation, and so this is what clued me into like, all right, this is from Alter Genesis because kind of like how uh, Double Blaze GX came from the set Double Blaze and Alter Genesis, and they probably in English will. 
uh, would have renamed it to Creation, uh, is very similar. So they kind of have the name for the set. And this attack is very interesting. So first off, it buffs all your attacks going forward for 30 more. And uh, if you have one extra water energy, which is fine, so you only need two energy, essentially it turns, it kind of upgrades all your knockouts to take an additional prize card. And that's really cool. Um, I'm wondering if you could just like roll this in your deck, one of them, cherish ball them out, and then use the powered up altered, altered creation, you know, and it, the chance of him getting one shot is I feel like it's kind of unlikely so maybe you can retreat him out and uh, yeah they might custom catcher you but maybe that's worth the risk um, just to have that buff so then at that point like I feel like that's a great way to deal with all the non GX Pokemon decks uh, kind of like halves the prize you need to take and then all your um, GX if they're running GX's you know that means you only need to take out three um, or I'm sorry take out two versus three so you know, I, I feel like the I like the altered creation just by itself and kind of ignore its primary attack. Uh, the ultimate ray, it's definitely good, but I don't feel like it's good enough um, for that kind of thing. You know, especially with the kind of I guess ultimately you need to run metal and water, but I feel like altered creation might be the thing I would optimize for um, on first sight. So that's the two cards that did get announced for Cosmic Eclipse. Um, I haven't pre-ordered anything, but and nothing is sounding too crazy. So probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't go too crazy on this set so far. But you know, it's still a lot to come. Again, it's very interesting that the, at least as far as I'm aware of, the uh, English got spoiled before the Japanese. Again, maybe I'm missing something. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below in a comment. And um, yeah, the. Spoilers are starting to roll out. Hidden Fates isn't even here yet, but uh, still queuing up some more exciting stuff in the Pokemon TCG game. But uh, that's it for watching. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Wine Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.